on guys, it's Surfcast in the Island and today I'm going to be talking about the gear I would use to target striped bass when I'm plugging from the boat. Oftentimes when I'm coming back um, from a boat trip from the dock or on the beach, uh, the most common question I get is what type of tackle would I use to target striped bass? And this is a very common question, it's very broad, there's a lot of different answers. Um, I'm giving you my best answer, not saying that it's the best answer overall, it's just my opinion of doing this over 15 years of my life. Um, so to the left of me, uh, the first rod I'm going to show you, this is a Tsunami Slim Wave. Um, this is one of my favorite rods, I would throw some of the lighter plugs like I talked about in my previous installment, um, the small Arashi poppers, the chug bugs. Um, you know, small two, three inch storm swimming shads, the rubber shads work great. The swimming flukes are excellent on this rod. And it's rather deceptional because even though it's a medium heavy, um, compared to a lot of rods, it works like a medium or medium light. So I don't really get too hung up in the ratings on rods because that's rather deceptional in my book. Again, that's my opinion. Other guys have other opinions I respect as well. Um, in terms of the reel I have paired with it, this is a Shimano Stratic 3000. This is the older model. This is not the newer one, but as a whole, I love Stratics. Um, you know, guys have complained about Shimano's, the bales tripping over because the spring gives out. Personally, I haven't had a problem. They're a great reel. It's one of my go-to reels for, you know, any species I'm targeting on the boat. Um, in terms of the line I have spooled on it, this is 15 pound test Power Pro. Again, like I've discussed in the past, when you're doing this lightweight plug in a lot of schoolies and, you know, near to teen size fish, you don't want to go over 15, 20 pounds of test. You know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, going back to, it's a medium heavy rating. I'll show you the action on it. Um, in my book, it has the action of a medium light. You can see the bend there. Um, it bends probably a third and a quarter down the rod. Um, yes, it is a faster action rod. What I like about it is, is it has a lot of backbone as opposed to something else that would be in the medium, medium light class. Um, <clears throat> the reasoning why it's so well at throwing these lighter plugs in that three quarters ounce to at most a one, one and an eighth ounce is that it loads the rod up well. Um, if you were to throw it on the rod I'm about to show you, it's... It's more of a stiff broom like uh, broomstick um, type of action. It's much heavier. Those are good for the Papa Dogs. I'll, I'll talk about that later on. But as a whole, this rod is great for that type of application. I have no complaints. So some of the examples of the plugs I would throw. This is a Bass Assassin Paddle Tail. This is the three inch. Excellent, excellent bait. Um, I pulled a lot of fish from, you know, Bay Park and off the land. Haven't really got a chance to throw it on the boat, but I'm assuming it's a shallow water plug, just like a lot of these other areas I fish. It would work very well. Um, some other plugs that would be similar to that I've discussed about are, you know, the swimming fluke on the half ounce BMC head. Very, very effective. And um, last but not least... You can't go wrong with the storm rubber shads. I've talked about them. I'll talk about them again, and I'll keep talking about them because they just flat out work. Um, again, all these types of swim baits are good at mimicking that bay anchovies, killies, and other rain bait that'll be, you know, mid-spring and on throughout the year. In terms of plugs that you would throw on this, again, I've talked about some in my previous lecture, but I'll, you know, rehash that because I feel it's very important. Um... This is a storm chug bug. This would work great. Um, you have the storm Arashi, which is another great plug to throw on this. It's very light. It's not even an ounce. So I would say anywhere from a half to a three quarter ounce. And last but not least, I've talked about the Tsunami Talking Popper. It would be great, great for this rod. So that pretty much covers the applications I would throw this rod under um the price point between this rod i think i believe i got it for 120 bucks um that might be before tax don't quote me on that um the reel is roughly around 200 so you're looking at anywhere between a 300 and 400 dollar setup once tax is taken into consideration 
my personal opinion. Um, if you want something that's not going to have a lot of maintenance, I would go for this type of setup as opposed to um, some other companies I won't mention because I've mentioned them in the past. Uh, I'm not going to rehash that. But again, that's my opinion on this setup. So the second rod to my left is this is a seven foot medium light cousins i personally love this rod for throwing bigger plugs as you would a cotton cordell like i've mentioned in my previous lectures the mirror lore top dog anything that weighs over an ounce and goes into that ounce and a half closer to two ounce range um again the Adam Poppers I've talked about, imitating mullet. Um, what other plugs can you throw? If you're plugging dock lines, I also like them shallow. A lot of guys, um, I watch their channels, even my buddy Joey. Um, he throws a lot of mag daughters at the bank. They work real well. And um, last but not least, I would throw probably bucktails. They're great on this rod. And there's a number of trailers you can put on them, whether it's fat cow jig strips, which are great, and otter tail jig strips, which are also great. Both great companies. I would um, recommend uh, the fat cows only because they hold up a little bit better. But one over the other, it's not going to make much of a difference because I support both in my book because I use both for different applications. And um, I'll show you the bend on this rod. Again, it's deceptional. It's a fast action rod, but it's rated as a medium light. Um, I feel like it has closer to a medium, maybe even between a medium and a medium heavy. Um, I'll show you the bend now. Um, it only bends in about the top third of the rod, maybe a little down. It's, it's kind of similar. The guys will say it's kind of similar to the swim wave, but just from holding it and fishing it for over two years now, I personally think it has the action of a medium, uh, between that and a medium heavy, like I keep saying. Um, the reel I have it paired with is a little bit beefier than the Stratic 3000. Um, this is a Daiwa Soltis Back Bay 3000. And even though they're rated in the same general categories as 3000 or 4000 reel, um, that too varies from rods. Uh, for personal experience because if you take these two reels side by side, I'm not going to do that because they're on the rod. It's going to be kind of difficult to do in this video. Um, and it's not the purpose of this video. Um, it more, more so has the size of a 4,000 reel. And um, again, it's great. I've used it for a full year, the reel, not the rod. And it's just held up great. Um, no complaints. I think I have this spooled with either 20 or 30 pound diamond braid. Um, it's my first season using it. I got the reel at Bay Park as opposed to LI Outdoorsman for the other one. And all I can say is I, I love the line too, no complaints, very smooth. It has the diameter and feel of an eight carrier line. And um, yeah, that pretty much it covers, um, you know, the two rods I would use in these types of applications. And um, again, it's so important, and I'll stress it, and I'll keep stressing it throughout my videos, is you want to choose the right rod for the right application. If you're throwing you know, too light of a rod or too heavy of a plug, you're not going to present it right. It's going to put too much stress on the rod. It'll break the rod, and you won't be as successful and produce as many fish as you should or could. Um, on that note, I believe that the, I got the rod for about 90 bucks. Um, and the reel it falls in the same category as the Stratic. It's about 200 bucks and change. Um, and yeah, again, if I were to recommend two plugging setups to always, always, always have on the boat, it would always be my Cousins with my Saltist on it and my Slim Wave with my Stratic on it. And hands down, that I'll get you through any type of plugging, whether it's um, the back bays of Hewlett or you're fishing out in the middle of Reynolds Channel. Um, on that note, I would like to say I'm not sponsored by any of these companies I'm wearing, whether it's J&H Tackle or even the hat Tsunami. Um, I'm just giving my personal experiences based on the gear I've used throughout the years. And 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this to as many people as you can. And, you know, enjoy your day. Thank you.